very first impressive story uh, that we experienced was uh, a project that we did together with Hella and Volkswagen. And in this project, Hella took an ECU from a Volkswagen car and ported it to Autosar and reintegrated it into the car. And the car had absolutely no idea what Autosar was about. But still, the ECU was working in the car and the car was even driving with it. And this sh uh, showcased clearly what was possible with Autosar and it gave the entire team uh, quite some confidence that we were on the right track with what we were doing. So it was one of my very early projects, I would say, when I joined the company and Autosar was both uh, quite new to me and definitely very, very new to our uh, customer. It was a project for a German OEM um, who had a very, very tight schedule and high expectations. You know, this didn't change in 20 years, but <laughs> It was still the case at the time and you had to deal with that. I also remember that the computers we were using at the, at the time were, were not uh, powerful enough even to start the tool chain or to compile. I remember spending uh, evenings with, uh, with the customer eating pizzas over, uh, you know, waiting for the binary to build so we can finally test. It was changing, but it was a great, great fun, great experience for both uh, us, ED and, and our customer. The positive I take from that is that uh, even if, if it was the first Autosar free project for us at this time and also for our customer, it's, uh, it's an SOP which was uh, launched on date and no recall, or no major recall, let's say. So it was a success for both us and the customer. And we had a lot of, of, of challenges, a lot of pains, of course, at the beginning, but at the end, we could show and we could prove that Autosar is ready to be used in real life projects. And we were very happy when we saw the success that those is used and finally made it to the street. A small anecdote from the life of a developer <laughs> of a software Autosar module. So when I was developing Autosar modules, I always wondered about the vendor ID uh, encoded in our software modules because we always encoded their vendor ID number one until I found out that at the point in time when the Autosar Consortium was founded, um, all members, all the, of the first members and vendors got ordered alphabetically and assigned a vendor ID. And at this point in time, Electrobit was still called 3Soft. And due to this fact, it was at the highest position of the alphabet and therefore it got assigned the vendor ID number one. This is now the reason why Electrobit is Autosar vendor number one.